Hi, I'm Dr. Jijo Martin. Today I'm going to be doing dialysis catheter insertion into the internal jugular vein using Seldinger technique. This is a sterile procedure. I have done my hand washing and now I'm putting on a surgeon's gown and wearing a pair of sterile surgical gloves. When the patient need an emergency dialysis or cannot receive through an AV fistula, the central venous catheter is absolutely required. I usually prefer chlorhexidine antiseptic solution to clean the area. And putting on a whole towel, loading local anesthesia lignocaine, placing a bed sheet on top of the patient to get a wide clean area. Opening the uh, HD catheter set which has a dilator that's a tegardum suture material syringe that's a syringe for flushing and that one right there is the HD catheter this is guide wire using the scalpel make a small hole just over the top of the hole towel it is highly recommended the usage of an ultrasound machine during the CVC insertion which significantly lowers the risk of pneumothorax and arterial puncture so I'm placing the probe on the neck and I am visualizing the IJV and carotid artery. The one which is compressible is the IJV, the one below is the uh, carotid artery, which is non compressible. If ultrasound machine is not available, you may do it with the help of a landmark. The landmark approach most widely used is between the medial and lateral heads of sternocleidomastoid muscle and 1 cm lateral. To the carotid artery in most cases. Now injecting the local anesthesia lignocaine into the skin and now using the Seldinger technique locate the vein insert the 18 gauge needle into the internal jugular vein and aspirate ensure a good flow of venous blood is established. If you see a dark blood you are inside the vein and insert a guide wire through the needle and it passes through the internal jugular vein after that pull out the needle leaving the guide wire in position I am again checking the position of the guide wire which is inside the internal jugular vein not in the carotid artery using a scalpel make a little bit cut so that a uh, dilator can pass in so this one first I'm introducing a small dilator through the guide wire and then inserting a bigger one after removing the second dilator now comes the main part this is the HD catheter double lumen so you again thread it over the guide wire and make sure the guide wire comes through one of the port and you hold the tip of the guide wire and gently insert it into the IJV. Use normal saline to flush both the lumen immediately. So you aspirate and flush with normal saline.
close both the port with the caps. Now you need to suture it. Secure the catheter by suturing the integral suture hub into the skin. After suturing, place a sterile dressing over the line. Then a chest x-ray should be taken to assess the proper position of the catheter tip and also to evaluate for the pneumothorax. That's it guys. I hope you liked the video. If you have any doubt, please comment below. Thank you.